In the realm of cinematic storytelling, certain narratives possess an enduring magic, weaving together the familiar and the fantastical. Today, we embark on a journey into one such enchanting tales, where the everyday worlds converge with the extraordinary and reality become a canvas for the imaginations. It's an adventure that pushes the boundaries of what we know, inviting us to explore the unknown and experience the extraordinary. As we venture deeper into the mesmerizing narrative, we are not just spectators but adventurers, partaking in a captivating exploration of the limitless horizons of human creativity and the thrill of the unexpected. In today's video, we will be talking about Jumanji. Jumanji is a 1995 American urban fantasy adventure film directed by Joe Johnston based on the 1981 children's picture book of the same name by Chris Van Alsburg. Jumanji was released on December 15, 1995 by Sony Pictures Releasing. The film received mixed reviews from critics but was a box office success, grossing $263 million worldwide on a budget of approximately $65 million. The film spawned an animated television series which aired from 1996 to 1999 and was followed by a spin-off film Zathura A Space Adventure and two indirect sequels Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle and Jumanji The Next Level. What year is it? Uh, it was brand new. No. What year is it? Uh, 1995, remember? 95. You got some ID? Oh, let me guess, you probably left it in the other Tarzan outfit, right? The film follows the series of events of two children who move into a long time empty house and discover a supernatural board game that upon players rolls of the dice, sandals, wild animals, and other jungle hazards to manifest into their worlds and antagonize the players and surrounding neighborhood. When they start playing, they release a long time trapped man from the game's jungle world, where he explores the effect his discipline made on town. Reuniting with his childhood friend, the four continue to play the game that the adults previously started 26 years ago and intend to finish it to make the consequences of the game finally disappear. His fangs are sharp. He likes your taste. Your party better move post haste. I don't like the sound of that. Judy, someone's in here. Jumanji features a compelling narrative structure that is both thrilling and emotionally engaging. The story is divided into two time periods, the past where young Alan Parrish first played the game in 1969 and the present where the adult Alan Parrish is freed from the game in 1995. This dual timeline approach allows the audience to experience the consequences of the game's magical powers over the years. It also creates a sense of mystery and anticipation as the characters uncover the secrets of the board and its curse. The film employs a classic adventure narrative structure with the characters facing a series of escalating challenges and obstacles that they must overcome to survive and ultimately finish the game. Each roll of the dice leads to a new, unpredictable threat or adventure, keeping the tension and excitement high throughout the film. The narrative style is akin to a roller coaster ride with ups and downs that keep the audience engaged. Run! It's a stampede! It's a game! The idea of a magical board game that can bridge the gap between the ordinary world and a perilous jungle is both innovative and captivating. The concept taps into the universal appeal of imagination. The idea that a simple board game can unleash a wild, untamed world taps into the innate human desire for adventure and escapism. Jumanji masterfully explores the contrast and convergence of two contrasting worlds, the mundane everyday life and the exotic dangerous realm of the jungle. The contrast heightens the sense of adventure as the characters are thrust into an environment completely foreign to their everyday existence. The convergence on the other hand challenged the characters to adapt and survive in this hostile environment. The board game's unpredictability is a key element of the film's success. Each roll of the dice introduced new and unexpected challenges, keeping both the characters and the audience in a state of constant anticipation. This sense of surprise and unpredictability is a driving force that sustains the film's tension and excitement.
The board game in Jumanji is more than just a prop, it's a character in its own right, and its mystique adds an element of intrigue to the narrative. The game's elaborate design, complete with ornate carving and integrate pieces, hints at its supernatural nature. Its mysterious origins, hidden away in the attic for a long forgotten home, add to the sense of wonder and curiosity. The board game's rules are another captivating aspect. Every roll of the dice leads to a new, unpredictable challenge. The game doesn't merely follow a set path, it's adept to the player's actions, making it feel sentient and malevolent. As the characters progress through the game, they must grapple with the unexpected consequences of each turn. This unpredictability keeps the tension high as they are never sure what kind of danger or adventure will emerge next. Apparently there's a sale, honey. Whoa! You just saw three monkeys go by on a motorcycle, didn't you? Yes. Good girl, come on. Jumanji excels in using a combination of practical effects and CGI to bring its jungle world to life. This blend ensures that the film maintains a tactile and unbelievable quality. Even as it introduces fantastical elements, practical effects such as animatronic and physical props are used for creatures like the lion, crocodile, and spiders, adding a tangible and tactile aspect to the film's visual appeal. CGI is employed for more complex courses such as the stampede of animals or the transformation of the house. Jumanji also features dynamic action sequences that are brought to life through visual effects. These sequences such as the stampede and the flooding of the house are visually spectacular and demonstrate the film's capability to deliver thrilling moments that captivate the audience. Uh-oh, we got company. No, 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 it's alright, that's just a traffic cop. He'll back us up. Robin Williams' performance as Alan Parrish in Jumanji is a true testament to his exceptional acting prowess. His portrayal is marked by a remarkable range and versatility that enriches the character's complexity. Williams seamlessly transitions between moments of humor and heart, bringing depth to the narrative. What sets Williams' performance apart is his portrayal of a character in the midst of transformation. Alan Parrish begins as a frightened and traumatized child, evolving into a resourceful and heroic adult. Williams captures this journey of personal growth and self-discovery with authenticity, portraying a man who learns to confront his fear and take responsibility for his path. The character's transformation is a central theme of the film and Williams' portrayal is pivotal in delivering this message. Furthermore, Williams' chemistry with his co-stars, particularly Bonnie Hunt as Sarah Whittle, adapts to the emotional fabric of the film. Their interactions are laced with a unique blend of humor and genuine emotional connection, contributing to the heart of the story and reinforcing the film's central theme of redemption and reconnection. Lastly, Robbie Williams' performance in Jumanji has become an enduring part of his legacy. The film serves as a lasting testament to his ability to embody complex characters and evoke a wide range of emotions. His work in the film continues to endear him to audiences both old and new showcases the enduring appeal of his exceptional acting talent. Alan, please, last time I played this game, it ruined my life. <laughs> it ruined your life? <laughs> In the jungle, you must wait till the dice read father. I was a little girl, Alan. Joe Johnston, an accomplished director known for his work in the Avenger genre, bring his expertise to Jumanji. His direction is instrumental in shaping the film tones and pacing. Johnston's background in special effects as demonstrated in his work on Jurassic Park and The Rocketeer is particularly evident in Jumanji, where he skillfully orchestrates the integration of practical effects and CGI. This blend ensures that the film maintains a tactile and believable quality even as it introduces fantastical elements. Johnston employs visual storytelling techniques to convey crucial narrative elements. For instance, the attic film with Alan Parrish artifacts serves as a visual representation of the character's past and the consequences of the game. Johnston's use of visual cues allow the audience to grasp the story's complexities with minimal exposition. The cinematography in Jumanji is visually captivating thanks to the work of cinematographer Thomas E. Ackerman. The film's lush jungle's landscape are portrayed with a rich and vibrant color palette, 
bringing the exotic and perilous world of the game to life. The cinematographer creates a stark contrast between the ordinary world and the fantastical realms, emphasizing the adventure's visual appeal. Jumanji masterfully blends realism with fantasy. It takes the everyday world and seamlessly transforms it into a fantastical and magical realm. This transition is made possible through the skillful use of visual effects, further enhancing the film's unique and captivating concept. While the film was released in 1995, the visual effects have held up remarkably well over the years. This is a testament to the skill and creativity of the visual effect teams. The fact that the effects continue to convincing the visual striking speaks to the film's enduring appeal. The monkeys are pretty much done entirely by hand by the animators, and then from that they would work with sort of stick figures, or the, like the skeletons of the figures, and get them to move around. Um, we had a bunch of software written up, most important of which was the fur rendering software, and that's the software that actually puts the individual hairs onto the monkey skin. Jumanji is a cinematic classic with a captivating narrative structure that explores adventure, consequences, and personal growth. The film introduced a unique concept of magical board bridging two worlds. While its mystical game rules and visual effects keep the audience engaged, a Robin Williams' outstanding performance along with Joe Johnston's direction and compelling cinematography contribute to the film's enduring appeal. Jumanji has also left an indelible mark on pop culture influencing board games, inspiring quotes, reboots, and references in various media. This enduring impact solidified its place as a beloved and influential classic. Guys, what do you think about Jumanji? Do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Do you see it as a very entertaining film like I do? Or do you have another way of looking at it? Let me know that kind of stuff in the comment below. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Toga out.